Hello and welcome to WP Easy Cart. In this video tutorial we want to walk through how to use the product importer and exporter feature. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of customers have a lot of products and they want to be able to quickly get them into Easy Cart. So this is a commonly asked uh, question that we have is how does the exporter and importer work. So we're going to walk you through that process. Uh, we have a really good help documentation uh, if you want to read through that or you can watch this video. Uh, but if you'd like to get some of that help information you can always go to our docs uh, docs.wpeasycart.com uh, You can also reach any of our help docs if you want to click on the help icon uh, or if you click on import products on the product panel you can click on need help and that takes you directly to our product importer documentation and we've tried to document this just as you we would a customer we walk you through the process of opening and saving export files uh, uploading uh, and all that information so just realize that that information is there and so let's go ahead and walk through the process uh, what we recommend you always do is have a couple products in your store. In this example, you can see EasyCard already has several products from our demo data. Um, it's nice to see that in our export file. And so the process is simple. We export, we change in the, the CSV file, and then we import that file back in to make those changes. Now the exporter and importer won't do everything. Uh, there are some features you're going to just have to go into Easy Cart to do. Uh, there's complex things such as advanced option sets, um, file uploads for a downloadable products. You know you can get a lot of the basic information in through the importer, uh, but it won't do everything. Um, and so realize some of those limitations. So let's take a look. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to export our products. So I'm just going to go here to bulk actions and I'm going to export all my products and what we want to do is change all the quantities of these products to 5,000. So I'm going to export them it saves out my export file. I'm going to open this file and you can see I have all these columns it's pretty extensive all the settings okay and if you're not sure what some of these things do just go ahead and copy the default values that's why it's nice to have some of these sample products in here because you can see what the data should look like um, you'll notice all of these products have a product ID and that's important because they're already existing products inside of EasyCart if you'd like to add new products you can create products by giving them a product ID of zero and a post ID of zero. And then you can go ahead and add your titles, descriptions, specifications. You can add that information and a lot of this can be just copied down. Um, you know, if you don't have VAT rates and handling fees, just take what's up here in these existing columns and fill them down. So that's how you would add a new product we're going to update all of these and so I'm going to scroll across here until we find stock quantity and here's all the quantities and most of these headings are pretty self-explanatory so we don't really go through and, and label or document every single column uh, but I'm going to go ahead and update all of these to 3000 and then I'm going to close my file and save it when you save your file make sure that you check and make sure it's on CSV uh, we have found some computers want to save these as text files uh, but it does need to be the .csv and so I'm going to go ahead and save this okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the importer so we've exported we've updated the quantities I'm just going to hit import I'm going to browse for my file I'm going to drag it into our media manager and use that file and so I've got a URL here to my file and now I'm just going to hit import and it's going to give us the status that it's importing please wait uh, and now it says it's already been completed you may refresh your screen 
you'll see that the quantities haven't changed but if we go ahead and just refresh products we've now updated all of our products to a quantity of 3000 okay if you have error messages it'll try to produce those and show you those and so you can go through your CSV file and try to fix errors one thing we do recommend you do uh, with the exporter and importer is really pay attention to your data you're you're diving into the database directly with that file and we don't want people to copy and paste code and inject all kinds of scripts or errors that might happen into product descriptions things of that nature so you have to be really aware what you're doing when you when you access data, uh, data directly like that so that's uh, one common thing to look out for other than that uh, it's a great way to update quick information you've got 500 products uh, go through them real quick update all the quantities or change them from active to not active so on and so forth uh, we try to limit the export to 500 products. Uh, if you have more than 500 products, we try to break those into different files. Uh, the reason for that is a lot of servers have a hard time uh, processing that much information. And so a lot of times the servers uh, for WordPress will time out. And so that's why we try to limit things in that sense. Uh, but it does help even broken down into groups of 500 to quickly change thousands of products. So again, questions. Uh, you can access help by clicking on need help here or the help icon, or you can just visit our docs.wpzcart.com. Thanks for watching.